Hi, my name is Marion Landry and I'm the Technical Marketing Specialist for 3ds Max Design. In this small tips, I will show you how to adjust the mental rate daylight settings in terms of changing the horizon heights as well as the ground color. Once you'll know these small tips, you'll find yourself changing it for almost every project. Let's first understand what I'm talking about. The mental ray sun and sky solution, known as daylight system, is designed to enable physically plausible daylight simulations and accurate renderings of daylight scenarios. When inserting a daylight system in your scene, the mental ray physical sky environment shader will render a visible representation of the sun disk and the sky both to the camera and in reflection and refraction, as well as for the virtual ground plane, which is gray by default. Now this is great and will work as is for most of your scene, but for some projects, depending on your camera angle and the nature of your project, the daylight system ground color or horizon heights will be visible in your render and might add confusion or take quality away from your imagery. You can fix that by either changing the ground color or lowering the horizon heights. Let's see how easily this can be fixed. I'm using here a civil 3D project, but this can apply to any other type of scenario. To change the ground color of the daylight system, do the following. Select the daylight system, go to the control panel and navigate to the mental sky parameters. You can change the color by clicking on the color swap. This will open the color selector panel where you can choose any color or pick a color directly from your scene. The daylight system ground color is now green and blends with the color of the terrain object. In certain cases, changing the color won't do. The default value 00 places the horizon at a standard height. However, because the horizon is infinitely far away, this can cause trouble joining up with any finite geometry that is supposed to represent the ground. For example, in my scene here, I have a terrain, but it has a certain length is definitely not running all the way to the infinite. It can also cause issues rendering location that are supposed to be at high altitude. For example, the top of a mountain, or an apartment that would be located in a New York skyscraper where the horizon really is visible below the viewer or camera angle set in your project. In such cases, you will need to lower the horizon heights. Note that this horizon doesn't actually exist at a specific height in 3D space. It is a shading effect for rays that go below a certain angle. To do that, select the daylight system, go to the control panel and navigate to the mental ray sky advanced parameter. You will need to change the horizon height to a negative number. The total range available is somewhat extreme, reaching from minus 10, in which case the horizon will be straight down all the way to 10 where the horizon is at zenith. Try a small number first to make sure that you don't lose the nice gradient of color in the sky. The horizon is now lower than zero, so it sits right below the terrain object in my scene. So this is just a small tips that will help you achieve realism and help you adjust the horizon of your daylight system according to your project.